plastic waste is a global problem. For Africa and Ghana, plastic waste is even a bigger problem because the plastic waste that is choking our gutters and that is ending up in the environment is facilitating floods. The Sustain City Project is an initiative under the STEM Ep Club of Academic City University College. The aim of this project is to help recover plastic bottles in the hope of combating plastic pollution on campus in the future um, in the Cosby community. Now, when we're developing a curricula for the students, you know, we set aside on uh, making sure that we meet some of the sustainable development goals. You know. Now, once you come up with an idea for a product, you know, we help you, first of all, to incubate that idea, you know, look at the various aspects of things that you need to consider on the engineering side, on the business side, on the marketing side. We develop concept notes for projects. We develop a project or what we call business model canvases. We develop a timelines and key milestones that need to be achieved. We also come up with the resource needs and develop teams so everybody is clear on what their responsibility and their roles are regarding these projects. You know, and once you put your thoughts together and everything is okay, you can, if it's a small enough project, we can help you with funding ourselves. But if it's big, we we'll have to point you in a direction, in a place to, to uh, uh, an investor or someplace where you can get the necessary funding for the project. But in terms of the engineering side, as you can see, we have a workshop here, so um, there are a lot of things you can fabricate. The bottle we used for the project was fabricated here. We brought the materials in town, but then everything was fabricated here. Sustain City project is basically a waste management product, and then it comes in various phases. We have um, recovering waste and then we have documenting the waste that's just weighing them and then we also have, you know, essentially selling them and then recycling them. And the idea behind all this is not just to, you know, solve waste problem, but also do it using less amount of resources and also create job opportunities for this. The Sustain City project is beneficial to Ghana because it is creating sustainable innovations to recovering plastic waste and making it accessible to recycling companies and by doing so helping create jobs for young people and women. So this will go a long way to benefit Ghana. Also, the pollution of our beaches is a big problem as Ghana and Africa loses a lot of tourism revenues due to dirty beaches. Nobody wants to pay money and go and enjoy at a dirty beach. We built it in a way that we can be able to, you know, accommodate a reasonable amount of plastic. And as I speak, the first sample we have, it's, its volume is about 1,600 liters. And that means it can take about 3,000 of the 500 liters bottles. The inspiration behind the receptacle design was for it to look like a bottle, to help convey our message of putting your bottle in a bigger bottle and to make it look attractive. We created the receptacle using materials such as um, iron rods, mesh, um, reflectives and wheels. Now it was structured in a way that you can, you know, remove it in parts and then easily put it back. Now with the wheels, we use the wheels because we want it to be easily movable to places. Like if we have an event center, you can easily wheel it to the venue and then back. And it has two accessible um, openings, which we use reflectors, green in color, to easily draw people's attention to where they are going to put in the waste. And once the waste is accumulated in there, we have a base that we created and then we just use plastic sachet to design something on the wood that you just easily take out and then you can collect the rubbish and put it back on. Then the receptacle itself is placed on the metal sheet that is made on the wheels that is tilted at an angle. So when it's tilted, it's actually not nine feet, but when it stands straight up, it's nine feet. And it weighs about 16 kilograms. So aside the Sustain City project, there are a couple of other projects happening on campus. There's a bus shelter project, which is also a proof of concept project, where over 90% of the materials being used for the shelter is made from recycled plastic waste. 
We also have students working on autonomous vehicles that are self-driven vehicles that will help reduce traffic congestion and accidents. We have students working on uh, electronic wheelchairs that will help uh, reduce uh, fatigue among people with disability and allow them to live a, a good life. Going forward, we are looking at developing an app that allows people to know the holding centers that are there in the city so that if they have plastic with they know where to send it. Now currently we do not really have recycle facilities here in Academic City but everything was built over here that's a receptacle and what we are looking at is we want to get to a point where we'll be able to buy waste from the community and also sell it with partner companies that we've identified as a business for probably the youth and also the women around. My experiences have been very wonderful. It has not been an easy journey, but then I was able to learn to work with a group, which is the STEM group, which I'm a member of. You know, it didn't matter the course you studied, whether business, you were a journalism student, computer engineer, you had the same um, chance to learn how to roll, to paint, um, to cut, to measure and all that. And it was quite fun and I'm really glad it came out how it's coming out. I'm just excited and then I'm looking forward to it being something that we can reach out to a larger community and even make samples for other communities to use as well.